things all right but when it breaks into the it's a bit thin that's its problem um... Oh, God, I know. Have you changed radio systems, Ferg? Have you found that up, Andy? Just the chorus.
Das ist ja ziemlich schwer, der ist so. Das ist ja ziemlich schwer, der ist so. Six of them. Oh, forget it. I don't know. I just put it. He like just little, tunes them all little, the same. Little anyway. ones at the bottom and the big ones at the top. That's I like about, the two strings. That's ones. what I was told. They're all E though. Maybe, uh... Just here. Richard! It's a word. Thunderbird. Surprise? Yeah. <laughs> 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 
Hey, how are you? Yeah, just kind of down, sit down on the back down. of the seats. Yeah, if you want to sit, it's probably really tight. And it's really comfortable sitting like this, too. Yeah. Definitely the back. So we're just going to do a bunch of segments with you guys for this weekend. Mine's in the salad. A few cards? There's no other way to sit. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably better if they're. You can't turn around the other way? Oh, it's on the ground. Yeah, we need it like once. Okay, the one thing is, um, we're talking today, this is all going to be like on one day, so if we say something about the show, yeah, the show later on, don't say, you know, two days, we're sound checking today, and in two days we're going to play, because it's like sound check is one day, and the show is the same. Oh, it is. All right. Sure. Right? Yeah. Good night. Right. Later. <laughs> We're sound checking after the show. <laughs> Jeez, after? So what is that? <laughs> I'm just okay. showing anyway. So you have this commercial, so you can just tease these videos. Oh, just say after the commercials, yeah. we've got Living Let Die in Midlife Crisis. So this is your first segment in the weekend. I'll just put this up here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I'm going to sit down for you. Am I sit down for you? Right now. Yeah. 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 Today, today. Really? Yeah. Wait, no. close enough? <laughs> Three years in a row. Close enough to be 17. Yeah. I don't think I got to see it until finger. <laughs> <laughs> um, I can't remember. Last time I was here. Down bar. I'll watch it. Okay, I'm set. You set shit? Yeah, still the Well, go ahead and give us a level here. Hello, 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 hello. Mike hey, 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 hey. Mike one, isn't this a lot of fun? Vision, some lake, jet ski oh, yeah? and stuff. Mm -hmm. That's it? Yeah. Okay, here we go, Ricky in three, two. Here at RFK in Washington, D.C. with Kirk and James from Metallica. And guys finished sound check, how did sound check go? I mean, this is like the first <laughs> kind of rehearsal before this whole tour kicks in, right? Yeah. Uh, one is expected. There's a lot of stuff that wasn't quite right and a lot of stuff that, you know, it's okay. Because <laughs> I imagine when it comes to something like taking two major bands out on the road, like Metallica <coughs> and Guns N' Roses, is that and who it is? Into, That's exactly. who it is? Exactly. I heard there was another band. Huh? And Faith No More. Yeah. But I'm saying, with, with both of you guys have, you know, your own stages, the whole thing, and it's, 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 a, pr it's a pretty big event, I imagine that there's a lot of things that you got to kind of work out when it's the first show, right? Yeah, all, that, all those things have pretty much been worked out before beforehand, months in advance. And uh, as as for today, you know, just taking it as it comes and just dealing with all the situations that, that come up. Now, it wasn't that long ago that you guys just got off the road, right? We're still on the road. I mean, I mean, <laughs> but you're doing the Metallica yeah. show for like nine months straight. In two uh, weeks, in two weeks, it'll be a year that we've uh, been out. Right. We just had a week off for this, so had a little bit of a rest. Okay. We'll be back here after the commercial. You're going to see uh, Live and Let Die from Guns N' Roses and, of course, Midlife Crisis from Faith No More, who is also playing on the show, both bands with Metallica. And we'll be back with Guns and Metallica Unleashing the Monster continues. Hey, I found a quarter. It's mine. Good luck. Quarter anyone? Anyone need a quarter? What year is it?
mention you, Vinny. Vincenzo. Giordano. Okay, what are we going into? Metallica 1. We're back at Washington. Fuck, let me do it. Back in the fuck. Duh. <laughs> We're going three, two. Back at RFK in Washington, D.C. I'm Ricky Rackman with James and Kirk from Metallica. And you just saw Guns N' Roses, Patience. The, uh, one of the other bands that's on this mega, mega tour. Guns N' Roses, Metallica, and Faith No More. Very amazing show. I mean, I can't remember the show this big. This is one definitely for the fans, wouldn't you say? Oh, yeah, absolutely. It's a big <laughs> You yeah. laughing? Uh, yeah, we're doing it for the kids. I'll be there. <laughs> One thing I wanted to say: you got like these guys right over there that have been like following you around for get away from a, us for about a year or so. It's a no. Yeah, it's been even longer than that. It's been two years. They, they started when we were in the studio. Mm -hmm. They've been around this entire time, and I'm sick of them. <laughs> and so, what is this going to be for? Some sort of home video? Or? Yeah, we're probably going to put a bunch of this together and then uh, probably throw it away. After we look at it, now we're going to put it out in some kind of home video form. Just to kind of show us really how boring we really are. Now, was there a time that you, I mean, back a couple of records ago, you guys really didn't think you were ever really going to do videos, did you? No. I mean, one was the first video, and now you guys are... That was Metallica 1, the jammin' version, or as you put it, the even... Sadder version. Now we're talking about this uh, tour that's going on. Now how long does this tour go on, the uh, Metallica Guns N' Roses Day Well, it's about eight weeks or so. And then we take a week off, and we continue with the Metallica tour, which goes on through February next year, February and March of next year. One thing that I thought was kind of oh. interesting, I know a lot of shows, are like back to back. Now, how do you do it? Because these stages, <coughs> the setup here is amazing. I mean, do you have another stage being set up at the other um, arena? Yeah, we as soon as we're done, we drive to the next place and start setting stuff up. So, ourself. so it's like the crew guys are just going nuts, right? No, they stay and tear this one down. We put up the other one. Oh, so there, there are, there are two different stages, right? The four of us. The four of us. <laughs> it's just, it's just, just set you up guys. our part. Yeah. yeah. Just, you know. uh, I think the basic structure. I think they have a second one, but I'm not sure. I don't, I don't work here. <laughs> I, I'm not the guy you ask. Anyway, we'll be back with uh, Guns N' Roses and Metallica when Guns N' Metallica Unleashing the Monster continues. So stick around. We'll try to. St. Bart's, man. Sell it back to Pusshead. And drip it over my house. Yeah, and, and no kids will know you live there either. It's like, <laughs> doesn't matter, they all know I live there anyway. Open up your front door last night. The kid wanted me to send him an autograph. Yeah, right. Send him I don't live here, you bastard. Wire up the door. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> going into this? This is the last performance of the half hour. Okay, we're going into this. Okay. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Okay, guys. So, Ricky, yeah, what made you want to turn on the other way? Oh, fuck you, you, you know it's nothing but a prop anyway. <laughs> well, introduce us, man. Uh, 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 fuck are we? Ricky Rackman from... You're supposed to hold the mic to your face. When you say <laughs> Ricky Rackman it's from... Oh, you from I figured that out. Ricky right. Rack Richard from MTV. Or Dick. Yes. You could say Dick. So, Richard, what made you uh, want to, to pursue 
a career in, in uh, total out of control metal. Is that what it is? Is that it? Is? What, what whatever the hell broadcasting. It is. Like How much do you get paid? Free. Come on, give How much do you get the fucking job, man? You get laid a lot? <laughs> Why do you have so many tattoos, Whenever, man? I, what I do the whole, I, the whole idea you get is to go to the shows, <laughs> and when you my own idea, it's the whole idea is when you go to the show. Do you know Polly Shore? Personally? <laughs> Not, <laughs> yeah, anal sex. I can't, say any, I can't say anything on camera about him. <laughs> don't worry, Can we I? don't want you to. <laughs> no, I can't say anything. <laughs> Yeah, this is going really but oh, sorry, Come on, Richard, say yourself. something you guys to the can camera. Dog, you guys can dog and I won't stop you. Come on, Richard, say something to the camera. What's your favorite Total Metal video? Oh, I don't know. There's just so many. Whose oh, ass hey. have you been furthest up lately? <laughs> 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 this kind of <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're a video this star. Is, this you're, you're, this you're in, more you're different in, than... Yeah, what videos you know what, have you been in? This is going to look like one. This is going to look like one. And this is gonna look like the whole, like somebody said before. They said, you know what? You're gonna end up looking like the like Kevin Costner looked in Truth or Dare. <laughs> you're gonna be like the butt of somebody's really bad so joke. So you, you're you gonna think, watch a Metallica video and you're gonna say, "What do you think of the show?" And you're gonna say, <laughs> "About what show?" Neat. It was. That's what I said. They just said, you know, so well, "That was a Metallica show." It was really neat. So do you think musicians are, are, are really like good friends? Magicians. Ma magicians, musicians. Magicians. Are, are good friends with you or do they just... Anyway. Or do they, do they just kiss up to you because of your position? None of them kiss up to me. None of them are good friends with me. The other way around. Good question. Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> good answer. <laughs> it's over, man. It's over? Okay, goodbye. It happens. That was dumb. Okay. The um, thing that I kind of dig a lot about Metallic, even before I did all this M the MTV stuff and shit like that, um, most of the stuff that I was listening to when I went to school in like the late 70s and the 80s, but I was listening to a lot of the um, early punk stuff, like a lot of the English stuff, like Angelic Upstarts and Sham and stuff like that. And Metallica had the same kind of like power and energy, and it did, it did make you move whether you wanted to or not. It was great. And um, first time I met James, I remember it was at Cat House, and he was there with Glenn Danzig. I thought he was a real dick. <laughs> <laughs> then I met him a couple of times, and now that I know him, uh, he's a dick. And uh, actually, the same second time I met Lars, and the, actually, uh, yeah, they're still dicks, but uh, Metallica is probably one of the best live metal bands I've ever seen. A matter of fact, when I decided to do radio, I've always said, people see me on TV once in a while saying, oh, my favorite bands, this is my favorite bands at. But I've always said that my all time favorite song in my entire life has been Seek and Destroy. And when I decided to get into radio, I had my own radio show and I wanted the first song I ever played on the radio ever to be Seek and Destroy and whenever I've gone into different states and done radio shows, granted the first show I've always, always, always played is Seek and Destroy because as far as I'm concerned, I don't look at that song as a metal, as a metal song, it's just like, it's just, it's a, it's a great rock song, I mean it seems like it's got a little punk in it, it's got a lot of aggression, I, that's my Metallica story, Blah! One of the things I think that attracted me to Metallica first was even before I was doing uh, MTV or any of that stuff, you know, I'd love to say that when I went to school, I was listening to Sabbath and Iron Maiden and Priest, and I'm the, like a big metal guy. But in fact, when I when I grew up and I was going to school, I was listening to stuff like Sham 69, Nine, and Angelic Upstarts, and Cockney Rejects, and kind of a lot of the punk stuff is what I was listening to when I went to school. But when I first got turned on to Metallica, when I got turned on to, I never saw Metallica in the early, early club days. First time I heard Metallica was when Kill 'Em All came out, and it blew me away because it was a metal band, but it still had that same energy and it had a lot of like punk feeling to it. It was just heavy. It, I just I hate using that word heavy because everybody uses it, but it was heavy. There's no other word to use it. And then I remember the first time that I met James, um, it was over at the Cat House in Hollywood, and uh, he came in with Glenn Danzig, who I know. So I was like kind of stoked. And I was like, oh, right on, who's James? And so I went up and he was a dick. <laughs> Met him a couple of other times, still was a dick. But actually, they're pretty cool and they're good guys. And I think one of the other things that people dig about Metallica is like, if you're a rock fan, I'm not in a band. I always wanted to be in a band. 
But if you're a kid out there and you look up at Metallica, you don't see some glitzy people with stage costumes and shit like that. You see a guy in jean and t-shirts that wear clothes that we all wear. And that's what I think attracts a lot of us to Metallica. When I decided to get start doing radio, um, I wanted a, sh a song. When I did radio, it was like I got to play a lot of music I wanted to play. So I decided the first song that I wanted to play when I started doing radio was Seek and Destroy because it's my all-time number one favorite song ever in my whole life. If you see me on the street and you say, Ricky, what's your favorite song? I will always say Seek and Destroy by Metallica. So when I started doing radio, the first song I ever played was Seek and Destroy. And um, anytime I go into a like, different state, if I'll go to Arizona or Colorado or you know Albuquerque or whatever, and I'll do radio shows sometimes, and I always say, first song when I go on is to play Seek and Destroy because that is the most killer Metallica song. That was actually the song that I think just totally turned me on to Metallica. And it makes it easier for me because, you know, being on MTV and doing Headbangers Ball, I don't get to pick any of the videos. And a lot of the times, you know, I have to intro some really shitty videos. And because of the success of Metallica, it makes heavier bands and bands like Metallica and that type of genre rock and roll sort of accessible. So I get to play bands that I like, like heavier stuff like Metallica instead of playing bands that Firehouse or Steelheart, stuff like that. There's my Metallica story. Hope you enjoyed it. Hey, well, what? Still rolling then? Oh, you want me to come back? Yeah, what you're asking. Okay. Just, uh, where did you go to school and listen to all this stuff? When I went to school, I, I grew up, I lived in the Hollywood Hills and uh, I grew up in parts of the San Fernando Valley, Jamaica. Man. I went to elementary school, I went to Pacoima Elementary School. <laughs> I was the only white kid, got in a fight. I mean, I, there was one other white kid, I got in a fight with him. And, um, but I grew up in the valley and lived in the Hollywood. Oh, is it done? Yeah, wrong. Yeah. Okay. Oh, sorry. And lived in the Hollywood. Oh, is it done? Yeah, we're all done. Okay. Oh, sorry. No, I'm in the car. I got to drive one a minute ago. You missed. Man, you're not MTV. Yeah, but get these people out of here. We're LTV. You know what? CTV. I think you guys got enough of this fucking documentary. Okay, you know what I mean? I mean, you're almost done with it, and you're still filming. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> yeah. What's up, man? It's a word. What are we doing? Well, Which one of these 12 cameras should I talk to? Huh? Are you going out? Kind of a hint of <laughs> That's a subtle hint. What? <laughs> shiny? You're kind of a shiny, happy person. I'm very happy to be here with all my friends. <laughs> You're kind of shiny, sure, happy yeah. people today. Powder, yeah, I'll take it all. <laughs> hey, Robert, what do you want? Powder? Is it white? It's like pinkish. It's hot. How did that thing come out? <laughs> Obviously, we saw the uh, Metallica tour earlier this year, which just ended for you. There's a mosquito on there, too. Can I correct you on that? What? Um, actually, believe this. I mean, this is serious. Actually, when we're done with this thing, we're going back and doing another month of like cities nobody's ever heard of in America. Like, um, let's see. Asheville, North Carolina, like Lexington, Kentucky. Um, are these places that mostly a major band like yourself wouldn't hit? Um, these are places that we just feel that 
you know, I mean, we've been on the road since October. We've covered so many places, and to end this tour before we covered all the places just wouldn't be right. Wouldn't be right because all our fans know that we go everywhere. And this tour with Guns was originally going to start about a month later and then run into October. And then we're going to get all the smaller cities, that, you know, that we hadn't headlined ourselves yet out of the way here this month in July. But then we moved this tour up a month, and now we're going to go on to like to places like Fort Myers, Florida, and like. Um, Kalamazoo, Michigan, and Sacking on stuff like that, which are great places. It's gotta be fun to walk up to. Hey, Kalamazoo! Kalamazoo, scream for me! <laughs> and that's cool because those people, I mean, a lot of people in the smaller towns that don't get to see bands like yourself or have to drive so far, you know, they're starved yeah. to see a great show. So that's very plus, cool. Plus, you know, the fact that we played all these cities before, and once we go to a place, you know, we don't want to not come back on the next tour because it's kind of like, oh, these guys are too big to come back there now. So it's like basically every place we've ever played, we'll show up again one day. You know, just be patient. We'll be there. Uh, <laughs> Very cool. We're going to be back as it is the Guns and Metallica on Reaching the Monster. From RFK in Washington, D.C. Stick around. That was really cool. <laughs> okay. <laughs> No, he's going to be on that thing. He drives it around. <laughs> these are funny, these things are saying. These are real funny. I have my eye on that. Okay. I'm going to point these out to the side. I'm salivating. You don't want to do a second. <laughs> no, this is just this right now. Just, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm just going to say, what is this? Can I get you all to like, stand back here? Because they're going to be walking around. Then I'll just we'll be back with more. Okay. <laughs> Just watch your shadow, Jake. Yep. In three, two. Okay, now Lars, tell me what this has to do with the drum set. Steering wheel and a stick shift. <laughs> well, this is why I play. No, um, like I was telling you, wait, 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 wait stop. Um, hey, don't say like I was telling you first. Because so we don't know yeah. when we're going to add it. Okay, all right, okay. Okay. In three, two. Here with Lars from Metallica, and this contraption right here is something that you usually wouldn't associate a <laughs> stick shift and a steering wheel with a drum set. Uh, explain how it works. Well, you know, welcome to the uh, wicked mind of Metallica. Um, like on the indoor tour, as you know, we had this drum kit that moved all over the stage. Right. Well, we kind of took that one step further on this outdoor thing that we it was on all. tracks. Before, yeah, that right? was on tracks. Yeah, so we took that one step further on these summer dates. And basically, as you can see, if you look here, is that basically I'm supposed to talk into the mic. <laughs> Let's start this over. It was going good. I could okay, say. we have the boom too, so. Oh. Okay, we're recording here. I saw them Lee's like World, man. <laughs> Party on. Houdini. 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 I saw them a couple years ago in Philadelphia. They're we got the back Yeah, they were great. We didn't have to give anything. They're a lot of fun at concert. They really put everything into it. <laughs> they, they do. They're great to see. They are. Yeah, we saw them. Oh, well, yeah, you know, but. We're pretty bond. We want to get in talk to them. 
we're bumming. But it's good to be here anyway. We're gonna have a good time. Are you guys going in to see those? Oh yeah, we have tickets, yeah. Both. 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 It's a toss up. Yeah, both. It's it's definitely both. Pretty hard. I think Metallica's I a lot grew more up with Metallica more, more and then like kind of grew into it. Yeah, it's, definitely. Did, uh, did you ever think like you're doing this to get to see a double bill? Like no. no. Oh, it's great. They, they said Perfect. it would never happen and here we are. That's right. Woo! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Woo! Washington, okay. D.C. launching the tour. It's about time they had a good double bill. There aren't very um, very many good double bills at all in, con like in concerts, yeah. never. This is like the best one in a long time, definitely. Where are you guys sitting? General, General mission. General mission. We're gonna get we're gonna get trampled. We're gonna be in the pit. <laughs> we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna get trampled. We are, definitely. That's why we're waiting so long. show a double bill like this? No, well, I wish we could get to see it. I don't think we're going to get to see it. <laughs> why not? We have no way of getting in to the show. That's why we're still standing here. What, you couldn't get tickets from where you were? Okay. Um, no, I think the Giant Stadium show went on sale in Philly, but not this one. Not so. Washington. Yeah. Have you talked to anybody about getting in or anything? Nobody wants to give anybody messages for us. Yeah, um, and they said he's not here yet, so... Have you ever met him before? Or yeah. Any guys before? Yeah. Yeah, I met. I met all the guys. They're really nice. Yeah, we both met them all before. What do you think about the Guns N' Roses double bill? I think it's, it's really great. cool. <laughs> Faith No More, especially. <laughs> it's really cool. All right. Thanks. Okay. A lot. Thanks. All right. Speed. How do you know Lars and uh, what happened and whatever? Um, I met him from a girlfriend of mine named Alex, and um, he used to hang out with us once in a while. And like some funny things happened. Like one time, I had this big suitcase right before I moved back home, and we like locked him in it and shut it. <laughs> it was really funny. Lars was locked in her suitcase. You <laughs> no. tried to bring him with you. Yeah, and then um, well, he was. We used to hang out with like Rachel Snake and Lars all the time, and it was really fun. And I just want to say hi and hope my mom met Lars too. She was with me at the Spectrum in Philadelphia, and my mom, she liked Lars, too. Yeah. <laughs> she didn't lock him in the trunk, though. No, no, no. cases for my mom. <laughs> How long did it until you let him out? Um, just a couple minutes. <laughs> when he was like, he got out, I think, because we didn't shut it all the way. <laughs> so, it was funny. Okay, thanks a lot. Okay. Speed. 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 What are you going to see, man? Metallica! Metallica! Yeah! Metallica! What's going on, man? Good. 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 Yeah! Hey! Oh, you 
Fuck it all! Fuck Guns N' Roses! Fuck Faith No More! Fuck it all! Let's see Slayer, let's see Metallica on a double fuck bill! Fuck Let's see him on a double bill! Let's see that shit! Fuck Megadeth! Fuck the rest of them! Let's see Megadeth the Metallica! Fucking double round and fuck Megadeth! I want to see Slayer! I want to see Metallica! Fuck them all, man! Fuck them all! Fuck them all! Fuck them all! Fuck them all! Fuck you, man! Fuck them all! Fuck them all! Center, not down in front of the, or not down in front of the pit, but behind the pit. Normal middle. Yeah. Fear, yeah. Well, just, uh, roll the thumbs all the way back as fast as you can. Roll them across. Turn it and just leave them there. And um. And then in the beginning of the master, move it down to where it normally is. Move it forward to where it yeah. normally sits. Okay. Just so it's out of the way during the solo. Yeah. Okay. And then, um, then what do you want to do for more? So doing everything as Here we go. will be in first show of the season. The front right hand corner. Just leave them in the corner. Okay. That's what I think of it. All right. Got some normal shoes on today? Talk about normal, man. Which one, man? Yeah, it is. Uh, you get some more, too. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, definitely get the badge. What the hell is this? Power bar. Makes me powerful. Wild Oats. Yeah, so Why don't you know, ask like a shirt, man? Jerry or something. I got some hair. Ask him. Cool. Kind of a How Clint character, Charlie? but fucking more evil. See it, man. He's killing yeah. everyone in the world. <laughs> there's too many people and so few bullets. Okay. good. You know why I like it? Because it kicks ass! <laughs> what about your boy Clint Snowball be unforgiven? Yeah, it looks pretty cool. I know, yeah, man. Looks cool. very cool. He stole my fucking title, motherfucker. You've seen the other shirt, right? The least he could do was ask us to be extras or something in the back. <laughs> you know, change the thing. Really I could shoot case. people easy. Yeah. You easy. Are, you're probably on tour. I probably couldn't reach you. Probably. Seen the other cool one? Kind of large there, buddy. <laughs> yeah, well. As soon as I get off tour, drink a lot of beers. <laughs> we'll fit. <laughs> what else you got in there? Stuff you fucking don't want to know about. Shouldn't even see. Horrible, ugly stuff. Don't look at that. Don't look at that. <laughs> don't look at First night jitters? No. Uh-uh. Just gonna go out and fucking kick ace. Where's the sunblock? Where's the suntan lotion? Kick max, um, I'm a max. I need some suntan lotion or something. Why, there ain't no sun. Don't let your... <laughs> Thanks, son. He's just hot as fuck. So shoot the fuck shit at the end with those lights. Don't let you do like that. Like wait for the encore. Yeah, do the encore. Draw la 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 la. Is Chris still gonna be the first song after the? We're opening with caress, right? Huh? Open with caress? No, it's the same as the shed set. That goes the encore for MTV. Whatever they want, you know. No, I mean whatever MTV wants. Yeah. Whatever. It's from the Uncle Arnold. Status quo. When it's darker. Fuck off, fuck off MTV. MTV. <laughs> fuck. That for my facial. 
Adios. Adios. So, right now, there's a, uh, there's a crew at New York uh, Giant Stadium sitting upstate, right? No? How's that work? So that's why I told MTV. <laughs> the, the leapfrog, the scaffolding. Yeah, they don't do scaffolding. They don't right. leapfrog. Well, so there is a, uh, someone in Detroit making something. Now. Building something right now, right? Secret concoction. Right. So yeah. I get, I get, I get satanic juice. That's not the point, is it? Get point my energy from Satan to sing really good. I know that's why I said. Mmm! Mmm. Okay! Ugh, fuck, man, not even on stage in hell's way. I'm not even on stage in the board. Pretty soon I can suck my own dick, man. Be great. Hold it. Highly useful footage. <laughs> well, us stretching in our underwears. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't for the film, it's for Vinny's personal collection. Ah, he's gonna go sell them and fucking. He's gonna go tell us, sell them down in Times Square. It's in hell, man. Okay, come on. No, I mean, it's not that we don't enjoy having you on here. Because we don't, I mean, do. We do not enjoy you. Coming by production now. Move up, asshole. Hit him. Yo, yo. Look at the Spot welder on the job. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bill Power. Bill Power. Bill Power. Wait, wait, wait. James. Yeah. <laughs> in the oh,
fucking read my mind. Where's my beer, man? Somebody bring me a fucking beer, man. There you go. That's water, man. I'm allergic to that shit. So I think, uh, I think our friends out here want one too. I'm gonna go back and get a whole shitload more, man. Well, pretend you guys have beers, man. Cheers, here's fucking to you.
might be cool hours coming out of those, or sorry, coming coming out of those bombs into sanitarium, like Lars says. That might be really cool. You know, because like after you, like we always used to, you come out of and then James starts, you know, the quiet bit. That might that might be a better build to master that way. I'm totally willing to try that. I mean, I have no qualms about about doing that. It's just a, if he could get his ass out there in time. Anything other than what we did. I mean, it, it's hilarious because like I was I was looking downstage right, and I, I saw James like peeking out over like this. I just I just saw his head. Well, you should have. I'm sitting there going, whoa, 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 looking like a complete asshole. Comedy hour. That was as rough as it gets. That was the rest of it. Okay? I felt That was a wide stage. It's hard to cover. It's hard to cover. It's a lot of, a lot of running around. Seek and destroy. Well, that was fun. That was cool. Yeah, it's like, hey, James, I'm a mile away. You were still 150 feet away. Oh, well, I talked on the road. We're separating like that to when I come out. When? You know, we were doing the basal car. Basal no. slash car. I mean, not slash. Basal car solo. My car solo. <laughs> Us partying like that. Yeah. The screens work really well. The Those video cubes work good because still rock but you can too. see them really. You can see the one on stage right away. That's why I didn't do any mirror movements in the beginning of the show. I pulled them back up, blocking the one screen you can see. So that really helped. And then you see me I, almost uh, slip into the crowd? I, How come I miss I, all the good shit? I. I. I oh, oh. Don't be nervous. Corn the cob or asparagus? Asparagus. Asparagus. <laughs> what the fuck is asparagus? Asparagus. Asparagus. Please. Better have corn. I can shit it out and eat it again. Corn dirties. Corn on the tip. I'll show Uh-huh. <laughs> what? How'd it go? Sucked. It's crap. Yeah. yeah. Couldn't get any worse. Oh, I can hell get worse. Come solo back. <laughs> I ain't going. I'll leave. I'll go home. Let's get dark enough. Let me get a little bit of a couple before we start. No, no. I don't want to. Congratulations, man. I, I don't have a problem count only really because I haven't gone up yet. But I will bring it to you when I have. I guess it's about 48 and change. We've got a good day this morning. They look like they all came to me. Congratulations, man. Yeah, yeah, back one, guys. You just show up with everything in. You can hear them all in a bollocks up, man. All these dogs said to sit there. I don't know what we saw in the next time, but I'm on my way to the door. You can settle down. Show her door. And for you and me, yeah. Guns and Roses, their agents. Maybe Peter and Tony will come up. Huh? Why is he the agent? Well, it comes to all of them. He's a computer operator, basically. They're not going to take any shit from me. Take shit from anyone. Man. It's your fucking money. See you in a minute. Remember the dry eyes. I don't know. I have to ask Jake. I, I, uh, I was avoiding your gaze in MIU. No, because when it, I'm sitting there. I know, yeah. I'm going, oh shit. Now they're going to roll it out like maybe when the real part of the song starts. Right. I don't know, because I'm not on stage at that point. You know what? Anyway. Anyway. I'm not 
to actually do with brother and everybody else. But nobody on the planet are we have no items on. yourself you know we got over two hours so we had a week off and I kind of forgot how to pace myself <laughs> so fifth song I was <sighs> unforgiven you know how's the um, how did you feel the crowd reacted to you guys fine yeah they were there I could tell they were there yeah, <laughs> definitely. they're really rowdy do you think that's because of the music you play or how do, what do you think that I is? hope I hope so, yeah. Um, oh, we're a little heavier than their normal stadium act, I think. And, uh, you know, they got their little pits going here and there, and, you know, it was, it was pretty hot, so there wasn't as much activity as I thought there would be, but it'll get better. They were jumping out there, though, yeah. don't you think? Well, you know, you can't... Well, we were on, and partly in the day, you could really see kind of what was going on. Mm -hmm. As it got darker, you could get a better spot, actually. Is this your biggest tour? The most amount of people? Things we like to do, you know? Besides drink and do drugs and go, you know, grab cameras for people. <laughs> Do you, um, in a lot of your videos, you, you feature, or in a couple anyway, Jason corrected me, you feature an older gentleman. How is that? <laughs> the old lady died. No, some old guy uh, basically was a, uh, we picked him out of a casting thing, you know. He looked, you know, wrinkly enough. So we picked him for the Sandman thing. And uh, for the Unforgiven, I mean, the songs kind of, we talked about getting older, so it was just coincidence that the two first videos had old guys in it. Everyone asking, hey, is that your dad, or, you know, <laughs> that was just some guy. Kirk Fu, take one. Six feet? Yeah, okay. Kirk Fu. Kirk 
Kirk food. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Do your fly ew, you're drooling. <laughs> <laughs> Do your fly. Do the flying kick. Oh the flying, flying kick. It's where I get killed. <laughs> <laughs> Try it again, that was good. You gotta go down. You didn't hit me. You gotta fall down. I gotta fall down. Try it again, Kirk. Who's gonna fall down this time? Wow. Oh my god. Wow. Five fingers of death. Here we go.
wrap the other night. Okay. So I'm gonna fade that part out. So, um, what else then? Evil to, uh, nothing evil nothing to, to evil. To evil. evil. Just the evil to Saturday. No, no nothing into evil. <laughs> Two of us because yeah. then when you guys so, come in, gotcha. it adds the numbers, but you definitely want four there. Alright, four. Now let's read before whiplash is two, right? That was what yesterday when you went like No. Uh Whiplash. Yeah, because I couldn't remember if it was two or four. <laughs> it was a two, right? <laughs> <laughs> it was just a long time. Yeah, it's two. Okay. I guess. Follow this now. Oh. Is it going to be two or four? Well, it wasn't always. It was always two, right? It was With two. Flash. Right? Okay. Yeah, it's always been two. Alright. And then from Am I Evil into Caress. Four. Are you That's what I mean, four guys in really cool. tight room. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Thank mm-hmm. you.